Yeah, this is your great grandfather, Mark David Aisner. And I live with my wife, your grandmother, Blossom, in Sarasota, Florida, Longboat Key. We love it down here, even though it's beastly hot in the summertime. I miss all of you people very, very much and would wish that you would come down here and visit with us more frequently. Um, it's uh, wonderful to have Michael come down once in a while, Vicki and Leslie, and I am so very proud of my family. I mean, my eldest was Vicki Porter, who was a very lovely girl and a very talented person, a fine artist. She lives a beautiful existence in the mountains of Colorado, along with friends that she adores. She's very comfortable and very, very generous with her heart and her money. I mean, in making purchases that make people happy. Then there's Leslie, who is a self-starter, who developed a business that's really quite worthwhile, comfortable to lots and lots of people. Leslie Ann Novak. She lives in Massachusetts and is a very, very beautiful and lovely person. Then there's Michael, who lives in Denver, who is also a self-starter. I don't think Michael ever worked for a person in his entire life. He just goes out and does what he wants to do, and he does it very, very successfully. I am, at the present time, in a wheelchair in a wheelchair that takes the bottom part of me and makes it sort of mobile, where the top part of me is wide awake, alive, and full of verve. The top part, my shoulders, my arms, my chest, I get strength from the waist up. But from the waist down, I'm immobilized. I can't motivate. I have to have this wheelchair chariot take me where I want to go. Okay. But life, along with that, is very, very pleasant. I have a wife that has taken over and does everything within her power to make my life more comfortable. She takes care of the house and the payments of bills and enjoys herself once or twice a week playing cards. She's uh, one in a million. It's a blessing to have a person like that take charge. Uh, I am her number one priority. She shows it. She does everything she can, everything she can to make me comfortable. Okay. I do hope that in the future years you will think of me as a person that enjoyed life, that was given many of the gifts of life, earned or unearned. But the greatest gift that I have had bestowed upon me was a gift of my wife and my children. God bless you.
During my lifespan, I spent many, many hours painting, and I enjoyed every minute of it. The talent that I inherited from some member of my family, my doctor, Julius Eisner, was an artist. He had some very lovely paintings. And then my daughter, Vicki, Leslie, artwork, and it was something that I enjoyed watching them do. Uh, it also went over to my other son, Robert Axe, who was a architect, and uh, the ability to enjoy painting and paint I think makes a world very a world a life very very worthwhile for people that enjoy it. This is a portrait of Blossom Azen and my wife soon after we were married. She was beautiful then and she is beautiful now. This is a painting I made in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Beautiful place. 1974. This is a portrait of a young Mexican girl that pulled the pig around as though it were a dog. It was with her all day long. 1974. Puerto Vallarta, along the beach, the natives had nets that threw out, they threw it out alongside the, the beach and caught mullet. They loved mullet. I don't remember the location of this, but I do know that it's a, a wintertime painting that I am, have always enjoyed. This is a painting of one of the backyards of one of the homes that we had on the North Shore. It's a fall scene and I think it it's colorful and very very interesting. Powerful picture. Well this is a picture of Mykonos in the Aegean Sea. Very colorful place very interesting. Now this is a painting of a Mexican village. I don't remember the name of it. I probably took a photograph of it and painted from a photograph. This is a painting that I always enjoyed. It's a copy of a very famous painting with the violin, the bow, and the music, sheet music, in the background along with the door and the hinges. Uh, I think it was a wonderful piece of work. This is one of my recent paintings. I also loved the turbulence of the sea and should have painted more of it. Now this is a very, very strong painting of two fishermen. I think they were Norwegian. Uh, I always enjoyed even looking at the picture after I had finished it. This is one of my very early paintings. It's uh, one of the paintings of the sea, the water, the waves, the sky. I should have concentrated more on this type of painting than I did. They are magnolia painting. This is one of my very early paintings. I painted this right after Blossom and I were married. We lived in an apartment, and and I, I worked on this. I often wondered why I didn't concentrate more on colorful birds from various parts of the world. Now, this is just one. This is one of my favorite paintings, though it's really a copy. I love to do it, and I, I love to look at it. I enjoy doing portraits. This is a very interesting man. 
who was a sponsor for one of the great artists of the 17th century. Again, a portrait of a black man, and I think it uh, manifests fear, instability, but a very interesting person to paint. Now this is a painting from Acapulco, where the diver climbs up a high cliff and waits until the tide comes in, or a wave comes in and dives into it, and then climbs up on the other side. Now this is a painting of Delos in the Aegean Sea. They had a statuary of lions lined up for a long, long way. Now we're on a cliff, and we looked out to the wide expand beyond the water, which is very, very lovely. Then the blue water, and then the boats that were lying on the beach, fishing boats, and then the little village. I thought it was a very interesting scene. One of my favorite paintings, my two daughters, Vicki and Leslie.